there guys, welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned, with the sisters. Um, so, <clears throat> usually when people are like, hey, you should totally do this, I tend to enjoy being contrary and being like, no, fuck you. However, um, Roto Rooster uh, on the last video was like, hey, look, the smuggler has the, the red feathers in it, you should totally... You should totally name her Roto Rooster, just saying. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck you, I'm not going to do what you tell me. So I'm going to do something completely opposite, because I'm a dick. Uh, and then I realised that, in fact, it is a fairly good point. <laughs> and I was, I was like, uh, uh, what, what does the helmet change? Uh, not a massive fan of that. Uh, yeah, the, the thing here. So I was, I was like, well... Honestly, like that 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 isn't the worst point I've ever heard. Like <laughs> it does look a little bit roostery. And to be fair to Rota Rooster, um uh he or she does actually uh watch a lot of streams and, and videos and especially this video series. So I think it's fair enough to be like, yeah, yeah, no, I'll go with that. Uh ooh, a blunderbuss. A blunderbuss. Let's see what uh my fair lady can use to do 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 it's over here it's not bad uh blunderbuss dueling pistol handgun hunting rifle pistol i'd like the uh the hunting rifle because that was awesome with the uh with the beautiful and sexy and sexual uh thingamabump but um i think we're gonna try the blunderbuss give 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 this lady a blunderbuss it's also nice to have some ranged um, what else have we got here? We've got some light armor that we definitely want to pick up. Uh, we don't have that much money, but we did just spend a whole load, to be fair. I think we should pick up a hammer. Uh, the pendant, we will, and the amulet, we will ignore for now. Great sword gives us, uh, attacks have, okay, critical hit chance is up. Um, that's all right. Critical hit damage is up. That might be better, t really. Let's see if anyone else can use ranged at the moment. Uh, no range. Uh, no range. No range. No range. Okay, well, now we have had that question answered. Okay, so I think we'll start her with the blunderbuss there. And then with the sword. And then with the axe, like so. Yeah, the, the axe is pretty nice, to be honest. Though it's tiring, apparently, which is not as good, but it's fine. Uh, okay, and then we've got uh, the leader. She has light armor? Light armor. We want to give her heavier armor, as and when we can. Let's just go back and just make sure there's nothing we've missed. Um, I mean, maybe a greatsword. Maybe get a halberd. We don't need the shield, really, but a halberd may be good. That's not too expensive. It does also you allow the use of parry stance, which could be great on our hero here. So let's have a little comparison. Uh, she can't use a halberd. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Uh, some light armor for her would be good. So she can't use the halberd. Is that correct? Well, hammer. Her, 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 her. Uh, okay. Well, no. Uh, yep. No. No. Okay, great, 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 great. Damn it. Uh, halberd, maybe? Axe, dagger, sword, no, not so much. Uh, halberd? No, it doesn't look like the uh, halberd's going to be a thing. No, okay, so we, well, uh, leader, can you use a halberd? All right, okay, let's get rid of the halberd then. Uh, right, uh, next, on to the next thing that I was planning on doing, which was selling shit. Um... Sorry, just yeah, confirm. Uh, we'll keep the dueling pistols for now. The great axe, yeah, let's sell that. Great flail, we'll keep the halberd. Well, that's going. Uh, the okay, we only have one unit. Oh, we have a helmet available, apparently. Um, spear, we can get rid of. The other stuff we'll keep, except for the dagger, which we'll get rid of because we have four of them and we don't re really need them. We've actually got two helmets available, interestingly. So the helmets should probably go to... Uh, well, first up, the helmet should go to the person who lost an eye. Maybe next time. There you go. 
maybe next time you won't be losing an eye. Uh, and also it's the, the two people with things. Maybe I shouldn't have... Oh, okay, so we got a mace uh, and we got a hammer. That's a dagger. We got a mace and we got a hammer. So uh, that's good for her. And we'll give her a helmet. Because I think she did recently get knocked down with something. Okay, there we go. Let's go and... Well, let's go to the next day. New hired swords are available. There we go. New shipment ah, request shit. arrived. Okay, how much do we need... Uh, we need 103 weight. Okay, we can do that. We only need half of what, uh, uh like, we've, we've already got half of what we need to get. Uh, probably not going to do Living on a Prayer quite yet. Uh, I will do the Vision of Dare, a Dread Mark for Death one. Uh, <coughs> and I will do this one just purely because, um, well, we only need one Undivided token for a start. I'm assuming it's their leaders, and, uh, also... Well, that'd be good, you know? We can't always do the same, uh... The same Warpstone rush and hope that it goes well. There we go. So, where are we? Mark for death, and we're here. And there's a lot of Warpstone up this right-hand side, so... I think we start outside so that we don't run into complications and just go up here... And try and hold up that way. So, that is acceptable. And then, where is she? She's at the bottom. Okay, so up there is the front. I didn't mean to do that. Up. Wait, where the bugger is? There we are. Okay. So, up here is the front. I think. I hope. I just get turned around and confused with these things. Okay. So yeah, look, up this way, and then up there we can probably collect some of this warp stone. It's a nice little gathering of it there. There's bits and bobs, but for the most part. Uh, and it's undivided tokens, so that means we're up against the Chaos, which is a great enemy for us. Hello. Which is a great enemy for us to have. Oh, hey guys. I'm going to go first. Is that all right? I'm sure that's a uh, cluster. We want that. I'd love a... Uh, uh, maybe I should make a video on this. Like all of the Games Workshop games I'd love to see. And how I'd love to see them done. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But anyway, I'd love to see a Gorka Morka game done as a multiplayer, a turn-based multiplayer. Like, you know how they do... What the hell is the name of that game? There's a game which is like... It's a MOBA, but it's it's turn-based. And, wow, they're getting a lot of warp stone. Ah, they're possibly over here. So we've got to be careful from the left, I guess. Uh, let's see, where is their... Pretty small map, and I can't see their... Uh, oh, they're right there, so, Jesus, they're, like... I think, quite literally, they're, um, buttholes. Horrible, stanky buttholes. We're still gonna try and get some of this warp stone. Even just getting that cluster would be nice. And, you know, if we start taking them out, then, uh, we'll be able to... Be even meaner to them later. Yay. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, basically, you have, uh, you have, like, um, you know, a band, and, you know, you pick your, you pick your kind of role and all that kind of thing, and I think the same could be awesome with Necromunda as well, like, it's another thing I, okay, I'm not sure where this is, there's not, there's not any around here, are there? No. It's just pointing at random shit and being like, you can shoot there. And it's like, yeah, no, I, no, I've got a gun. I know I can, I know where I can shoot. Black powder trap. The hell is that? Place a fake search point at a location that explodes when Aaron we approaches within. Deals. Oh, nice. That's cool. Overwatch. 
Oh, right, right, right. That's me being dumb. What what was it I was playing that needs spacebar to to like do the turns and stuff? I can't remember. Mm. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's me being dumb. Many many apologies. And Arthur Merrill just can't move as far as 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 he slash she used to no used to be able to move, which is a shame. Then we got two more. We got a pretty nice uh, warband at this point, I have to say. But yeah, like I always, I always thought the idea of, I always thought the idea of being able to form a clan type thing for a game like for a game like Necromunda, where you basically have, you know, you pick your role, you join your, uh, you join your gang. And it's turn-based, and you car you control one character, and you know you have your leader and things like that. You know, like maybe maybe it's unrealistic because people wouldn't make it to matches and etc. 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 Blah 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 blah. However, it just sounds so much fun. You know, in 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 you know in another sense, you could easily just go well make it so that you control a gang. You know, you can make it massively multiplayer in some respects, or you can make it multiplayer like really in a really interesting way. Um, crap! There's a dude there. There's a dude, bro. There. Hello. Hello. Okay, I don't see anyone out there. Uh, so, what do we want to do here, seeing as they have... You know what, let's put her... Oh, let's search him. Shuriken. Awesome. Couldn't have gotten better myself. And let's ambush stance here, so we can likely catch him out as he comes towards us, which would be nice. Um, yeah, so that shuriken's just like, nah. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, <clears throat> you know, having a single, having a, a solo, you know, kind of gang, and you manage your gang, and it's turn-based, you know, and I think the view would be very nice. I mean, very nice in that he's now going to attack us twice, and probably do quite a lot of damage, but... Oh, missed us once, good. Well done, Mosh, well done, mate. But yeah, the uh, the the idea of kind of you know having a gang and managing them, and like the thing that I don't like, it's not okay. Saying the thing that I don't like doesn't sound great, really. Let's put her. Can we get to that? Uh, we cannot. So let's put her right like right here, just in case they try to go around the side of us there. Uh, saying, like, the thing that I don't like is, uh, kind of a misnomer, really. Uh, that is a bad thing. Miguel, that's a bad thing. Okay, good miss, though. I mean, you know, it's good that he missed. Uh, Cali Ben is the person we need to go for, so... First thing we should do is try and go for him. Main Manish can, should be able to charge him, really, but can't. So let's Ambush Stance. Let's Ambush Stance over here. So we've got a little bit of that as well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, like, the, the, thing I'd, the thing I'd love to see is this kind of, you know, management part. And like, you know, I said... Oh, I don't like, which is, you know, which is, which is, um, something I consider still to be valid. I mean, we could make that shot, couldn't we? Oh, we could jump up here. Um, how do we jump up there? It's like, oh, we could jump up there. How do we jump up there? Is it around this way? Yeah, it's just up there, so. Oh, there's a dude right there. Um, so let's... Overwatch stance here. Hopefully we won't be mobbed. I think we we may be mobbed, but ho hopefully we won't be mobbed. Uh, Arthur has bad movement. Uh, ah, dicks. Now that's going to cancel out my move. Ah, Jesus. Um, we can, however, get on this. So first thing we'll do is do Sigmar's Might. 
Um, there we go. And now we're all attack. Okay, well. Shit. Second attack, though. That's good. Sweet. Good. Good. Okay, great. Because he's got a giant fucking sword. Which he missed with. That's good. That's... Yes, everything about this so far is not terrible. So far is the operative word, really, but... Uh... So I think we can leave those two over there. I think they've got this handled to a decent extent, at least. Uh, you can go to there, because that's as far as you can go. And you, I imagine, can go even less far. Uh, no, you can go further. Okay, you can go further. Can you charge? Dude, can you even charge, though? We'll ambush just to cut off anyone else who goes after after her. Um, so yeah, like the the you know the idea of like the management aspect is really nice, and you know like kind of having a base, having somewhere where they kind of go back to. Uh, no dodge stance is definitely what we want to be doing. You know, so like. With the with with Necromunda, one of the great things about it is he oh he's gonna try and run, uh, and he's gonna succeed in running, and possibly no he got hit great, uh you know so having having this like base to go back to and to improve and to manage and to have like you know random things happen and all this stuff is is really interesting I find, um, wow they have quite a few turns don't they, that's nice as well I like that, although. I'm a little bit upset in a in a very defined way that um, that uh, our shield maiden is what I'm going to call her is is where she is. Oh shit! <laughs> FYI, that's bad. He's got an eye on his chest. Why has he got an eye on his chest? Uh, attack him. No real other option there, as far as I know. Uh, and definitely dodge. Okay. Yep. Nice. Cosimo. Uh, and definitely dodge. Defiantly dodge. Uh, so yeah, like the one of the things I'm not a massive fan of about this game is like it's very focused on. And you know, I never played the tabletop for more time, so I don't know how much it goes into, you know things, but I, I feel like it's very much focused against the, uh, okay, he's going that way. Not so good for us. We need to disengage, and we can't disengage, so we switch weapons. Right, right. I think Roto Rooster might have a really bad first start at this, at this game. Um... I should have guessed. Oh, he ran away, didn't he? Okay, so let's go up here. Charge there. Nice. I don't particularly want to take him down instantly because, um, you know, I don't want to take him down first or early, uh, technically speaking, but I think it's a good idea to start bashing on him as much as possible. Um... Ow. Although, not too ow. Definitely ow, but not, not like, B Norse Berserker charging ow. Um, so you... Oh, he oh, you're here. So, you know what? We're gonna have, we're gonna take the Overwatch, the Overwatch shot, which is, which is bad. But we need ho help over this way right now, so we're charging. And that's really nice. Basically what they did to us, we just did to them. Uh, don't delay. Don't delay, end your turn today. Wow. Uh, loot? Shield, spear, I mean, I kind of feel a little bit like there's no point in not taking them for a little extra money. And then if we go on this, we can not do anything uh, aggressive-like. So, we'll just have to do that. A new round has started. Okay, so taking him down is great. That guy having to go around a different way is brilliant. Uh, <clears throat> likelihood of survival here is minimal. But we'll see how things go. 
Oh, there's another freaking thing there. And I like I'd love to take this guy out, but I actually want to try and Please don't run. Okay, so he's just dodge stancing. Okay, that's good, because I don't actually want to take him out. Like, yes, if I took him out, we might be able to save, Ro save Roto Rooster. However, I don't think that's going to be a possibility, unfortunately, mate. You're most likely going to get knocked down unless you dodge. Got a good dodge, so we'll see how you go, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that much damage is just ridiculous. We're going to have to deal with him now. Jesus. So the one person we need to be going for is the one person that we're finding very hard to take down because we don't have enough damage on him. It's great. And is also doing a significant amount of damage to us as well. Crap, we didn't take him down. That was fairly important. See, like, we wanted to take this that guy out. But we're gonna have to. Unless we... Okay, okay, what we do... Disengage. There we go. And we'll run... Okay, I can't, I can't not take this. It's only a shard, actually, this one. I don't know if the other ones are actually a, uh, a better thing. But we definitely want that... Sh we definitely want the shards and the other things if we can manage it. So, we've got a charge here. On him, apparently. Which wouldn't be great, not considering. Is there really no charge on, on the other guy? I guess we could go in on him. Okay, let's go in here. We can't go in here. We have to charge. Interesting. Okay, fine charge. And now he's down. And this is getting more and more tricky as time goes on. Enter. You charge. Uh, I think they're going to run away before I take this guy. This is aggravating. Uh, dagger, short bow. I'm really not interested in any of those, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, uh, well, yeah, again. What's that target thing? Dunno. Okay, let's go this way. Y yeah, I want, I want to take him down. Good. Good. Better, better, better. Better, 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 better. Uh, our dodge stance is terrible, and we'll probably get knocked. This Norse Berserker is strong. A new round has started. Technically speaking, we should probably focus on him, but... I will take the hits against this guy right now to get the win. And also, Moshurification seems to be... Uh, Seems to be fairly survivable at this point. Like this guy, this guy's pretty much just got owned, and mushification didn't even do anything. That's quite a lot of damage, and he's got two, so he can do like 60, 70 damage if he gets both of his hits, which is just nasty. Come on, we can take him down, guys. I believe in you. I believe in you all. Um, that's interesting. We'll have to... Uh, okay. I was, I was saying we, we'll have to go in on him and, and, like, try and take him out as well, but that didn't really go how planned. Yeah, Trutsuke looks like they're going down, and this could be bad for all concerned. Uh, so when do we charge you in? We don't charge you in, and uh, Sigmar's might would affect everyone, but a couple of them might be going down fairly soon. 
Sigurd's Might increases critical chance and melee damage. Yeah, you know what? Let's pop it off. I'm sure I'll... Oh, yeah, it failed. And... Okay, there's no backlash, though. But I think that means we can't get two hits in. Yeah, it means we can't get two hits in, which is probably worse. I think maybe I, I made a mistake there. I mean, I made a mistake considering... Um, got an arrow in my vagina. Um, can we get past here? No, we can't get past here. This is a really awkward little... Okay, we can... No, we... Can we... Can we go in there? We can't move that far, apparently. Oh, no, we can. We can. Uh, so we can get past... We can't get past here. Which means, honestly... We go round. Even though it's not really worth going round. That's a shame. Okay, he's down. He's down. But we're still in combat. Can we disengage? We can disengage. But we can't loot. God damn it. Now they're gonna run. A new round has started. Fucking hell. You know, these these are the aggravating things. They're right there. I've just knocked him down. I'm not gonna get that warp stone. I'm not gonna get that bloody uh I'm not going to get that bloody thing, and it's going to kind of... You know, I didn't fail the fight, but the the completionist in me is like, you could have easily got that shit, you know? It's like, there's a, there's a difference between game mechanics and just common sense, and this is one of the things that annoys me. Nice. Very nice. Galactrix, nice. My main man has uh, has has ranked up. Nice program. Miguel Xavier Lopez has ranked up. Moshification still missing an eye and has not ranked up again. Okay. You know, I imagine what most of you are thinking right now is, I'm gonna wait for Sheepdog to say at least it's not something to do with the head. I'm not gonna say that because I'm gonna have to backline Roto Rooster. You know, I think we should just get get another rotor. Oh, we got a warp, warp stone cluster for that. Somehow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we can't fire. Confirm. Okay. Kind of sucks that we can't fire. Just fire them. It's a bit harsh. Like, oh, you lost an arm, and now we're gonna fire you. Yeah. Okay, so there's no reason I don't think to. Oh, hello. Wolf Priest of Ulrich. Um, but they're like... The, they're like that. They're, they're, it's, okay, so we've got a Wolf Priest of Ulrich. Uh, another smuggler. I think we get another smuggler, really. Or well, we've got Sigmar's Purifier. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get another uh, smuggler and see if this one survives a bit better. Also, this smuggler, uh, who is called Roto Rooster, because, let's face it... That was just harsh as hell. Uh, this one's called Roto Rooster. I need to be a bit more intelligent with the... Uh... I think it's... Yeah, it's five. Okay, there we go. I need to be a bit, a bit more intelligent with how I how I use my guys like this. And she, she definitely needed to be kept. Two swords will do. Okay. She definitely need to, needed to be kept with the group and back a bit. I thought I could be clever, and I wasn't. So there you go, guys. We'll deal with everything else uh, in the next video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps me out a lot, and I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.